Maybe first the first the owner. She is the owner, so she can make a brief information about local family. About so family. if you were owner, welcome to visit him at home. The so they might say hello to you. Yeah, welcome you. Welcome, friends. Give a introduction. I'm Zhu. I'm a retired civil service officer. I'm 68 years old. Today I'm 68 years old. So she's the family name is the Mr. Zhu, Mr. Zhu. Family name is the Mr. Zhu. So she's already retired, stop work. Yeah. So she age is the sixty-eight. That looks very young for, right? Yeah. 朋友们，来到咱们的小院子看一看，这样一个四四方方的小院子，东西南北的老房子，这就叫四合院。咱们是一个小小的。So today we are being here is the traditional Chinese local family. Chinese in the ancient time we have no apartment, so we just living here. It's very short building. So in Chinese we call this one is the courtyard. Do you know? Court. Court is one hundred and fifty years old. We are here for sixty. So this family is already living here about forty years old. You know this court. This courtyard is already have more than one hundred and fifty years old. So she belongs to second owner. This old house is very comfortable. In the winter, the sun can shine very brightly. In the summer, it's very warm. The weather is very comfortable. You know, most of people, all of you, they like living here very much. Because you know, living here has the many good part. Living here in the summer is very cool. In the winter, it's very hot. Because in the winter, you can see Shenzhen, we can show the inside. So we can feel very hot. It's the natural hot. Yeah, and also in the summer, every roof is down to a double roof. It's very thick. So in the summer, stay here. Also, we can feel very, very cool. So that's why she like living here very much. I think you know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Beijing summer temperature always is very hot, right? So always over forty degrees. Of course, the open is here from Gang. I think so, Beijing. Yeah, any question about here? Well, local family, well, quite here. Do the children live here now? The married, the married son and daughter. Do they still live here? No, no. The daughter living outside in Beijing. It's a family house here. Because the, you know, no more most of people will prefer a parking better. Because living apartment have also a different good point. Before I told you, living here has a good point. In the summer, it's very cool. In the winter, it's very hot. Right? Because also, I think different things have both sides. And second says living here has the bad part because it, because you know living here has the no toilet, no bathroom, so we must go outside to the public bathroom to have a cleaning. And second region living here here has the central heating, so in the winter we must keep it by themselves. It's the cold in the kitchen is not cleaning. And also last region can see mm -hmm. the wall, the wall is very humid in the summer. Mm -hmm. Do they own the, the owner? Because this, mm -hmm. this, this house belongs to her father and mother. Okay. Yeah, and the before boy. And so her children will inherit? Her children don't have the inside. The children, maybe, maybe, maybe when they pass away, so this their government belongs to his children. Okay. Yeah. A half for daughter, a half for son. Typically, when do the children leave home? Is it when they get married or when they... Um, when they get married, they leave home outside. So not until they get married. Usually they live with their parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how old are they usually when they get married? I, I age no problem until, until marriage, if right. I live inside, no problem. Until now, if it's July, she also until living inside, no problem. Because, you know, this courtyard has many houses for one family, enough, enough place for people living inside. Now, how many hutans, uh, how many bedrooms are there? How many bedrooms? Maybe four bedrooms in this, in this bedroom. Only one bedroom one for this old owner. Yeah. You know, there, there's other rooms. Other there. rooms, you know, now the eastern, the eastern room, the eastern room, just uh, for a uh, storage, storage room, so uh, just, uh, okay. we don't use it. And, and uh, western room, just uh, renting out for different people. And south room also to be a star room. Yeah. Maybe a uh, east room there's the uh, uh, there's the small room only for his children. They come in here, see mother and father. They can live inside until they inside no problem. But when the children were growing up, yeah, 
they live in, in this room? Yeah, li we live in this with room. The no, they live all, only live in the east room. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, before I tell you, I will tell you a special thing. You know, living here, courtyard, in this family, only one family share one courtyard. Mm -hmm. So, of course, they have seen see different things use the different thing use the di different rooms, we live in different people. Or come to Chinese Feng Shui. Do you like? Yeah. Chinese Feng Shui. Chinese Feng Shui has small parts. That means the five elements. Do you know? Four elements. Five elements, five yes. Fire, water, wooden, and an example. I guess the fire thing. Or when you build a courtyard, or come to five elements. So it's the northern part. Northern part. We sit on the northern part. So in Beijing, if you, if you want to buy a house, you must uh, prefer to buy a northern part. There's a northern part, Shan Shan can shoot more inside and open to the south. And also northern part in Chinese we down to water part. So it's water. Even Chinese the water means the money. The <laughs> most people in Hutong, so I visited mm -hmm. some Hutongs in, in another part of Beijing. Yeah. And there were a lot of different people living in very, very small rooms. Yeah, yeah, so maybe maybe one room, maybe one small room share one big family. Yeah, so so normally, I mean, this is a big... Big is the This family. is one family and one it's a family big share space. Over. Before, before in the Qing, the Yuan Ming Dynasty, only one courtyard, only can share one family. But in nowadays, in Beijing, most of courtyard, many families share yeah. one courtyard. Like this, one, like this kind of courtyard, you can share six or seven family, no problem. Mm -hmm. Each room share each family, no problem. But this family, mm -hmm. the only <laughs> private courtyard, so only one family share all of them. Got it? Does uh, mm -hmm. she have uh, pay for her heat and electricity? Or? Heat? No, he doesn't need <coughs> paid money for heat because it pay, it heating only for coal. They must have buy coal in outside, it's enough. Yeah, but the, the, the central heating... Central heating inside is the water. Inside is the water. And it can have the kitchen. We put coal every day inside, just the heating for ourselves. Maybe if you're your apartment, you must have paid money for heating. Yes. Because your apartment has central fixture. Maybe in here, you, you're heating by yourself, so you need to money. And some of the uh, older Hutong areas, the heating, there's no heating. In the winter, they just... In the winter, most of courtyards, I, th I think so, it's, n it's not most of courtyards. All the courtyards, they're heating for only this inside. All the Butuan area, all the shell building. It's only all of them use the center heating. They're only heating by themselves. Good call. Yeah, good call. No, the the taxi driver drove past it. And I saw that I'm like, oh, just pull over here and he's trying to figure out how to get around and get to it but going even further. I'm like, no, it's okay, I'll just get out and walk. But by the time they got through to him, I was several blocks away, so I had to walk over there and I'm like, God. they don't speak any English there. And I got here. You got it, you got the phone. Yeah. So. I don't worry. Okay, do they need to move over? No, it's enough for 